Welcome to the podcast that's been named one of the best in marketing research. This is Research Business Daily Report, which is made possible by our exclusive community at the crowdfunding platform, patreon.com forward slash rbdr. I'm Bob Lederer for more than 25 years, the respected voice in market research. A big welcome to our new series, Market Research in the COVID-19 Era. This is RBDR episode number three. And today, Bill Harvey, president of Research Measurement Technologies, shares Fox Television's six-year study of essential TV for advertisers. Bill, whose research agency collaborated with Fox on this study, explains the essential areas for advertisers to make the point that these conclusions have become even more important to follow because of the coronavirus. Bill? You've heard me speak here on RBDR about uh, my belief that there shouldn't be cuts to marketing during this time, but changes in messaging to help support morale and immune response. And, um, and, and the use nowadays in, in these times of only the most proven marketing techniques and data techniques. So that's my general umbrella, but within that, I have some new news for you today that I think is really important. And uh, I've gotten permission from Fox to share with you here today on RBDR the essential findings of a five and a half year Fox study that was done with Bill Harvey Consulting. This is essentially classical marketing mix, um, except that there's no black box, no proprietary methods. This is the straight Microsoft Excel extensions, multiple regression analysis. And it's totally transparent. The data exists, can be shared. It's complete database covering all of television and digital national advertiser investments from January 1st, 2014 to June 30th, 2019. That's 48, well, it's in three product categories that account for about half of all national ad spend. Uh, those are, of course, cars, CPG, and uh, QSR. Any advertiser spending at least a quarter of a billion dollars over that period is included in the study. That's 22 advertisers being tracked. For the spend data, it's the most accurate data the world has. It's SMI, Standard Media Index, the data coming straight out of agency computers um, and pulled together. Uh, the purchase data is the most accurate available. It's IRI covering 90,000 stores in the U.S., the largest sample of U.S. stores for CPG. Uh, it's Polk data for cars, it's called IHS Market. Uh, and NPD Crest for QSR, the currency for QSR sales. So it's $2.2 trillion worth of sales measured against $48 billion in advertising over that period. So why is this relevant during the coronavirus crisis? It's because I said, and we all know, if you're going to cut marketing, don't cut muscle. So what is the definition of muscle? What are the media types not to cut? based on the Harvard, hardest evidence that we can muster. Out of the 22 advertisers, only four of them grew market share over the time period. Now this is a really clear confirmation of what people like Binet and Fields have been saying in the UK and others have been saying all around the world, that we've shifted too much to short-term thinking and we're trying to activate current sales at the expense of branding at the expense of the long-term brand equity. And this is the first clear sign I've seen uh, that it's true. If brand shares aren't growing, if they're decreasing. That brings me to the, to the four types not to cut. The one type not to cut is what the industry has several different names for. Uh, digital premium video is one of the names. OTT, over the top, streaming, is another name for it. Connected TV, CTV is another name for it. Full episode player, FEP is another acronym. It's all the same stuff. It, just like programmatic digital, 
just as efficient and easy to use, just as transportable to an in-house agency. Um, but it's programmatic television in the highest class contexts. And sure enough, with its lower commercial load, its appeal to the modern generations, and its addressability, it has a multiple of the average return on ad sales, uh, on ad spend, um, a multiple of average TV or average digital. And when you look at what people are now investing as a percent of their total budget, it's silly. It's down around 15%. It should be much higher. Uh, things like, um, you know, digital skip the ad in five seconds is double the investment of this powerful new form of television. So that's number one on the list. Number two on the list, unfortunately, is that this is a recommendation I can't make because it's not there, is sports. Extremely powerful. Maybe esports will be almost as good. I don't know. We don't have data on that, but it's worth trying. <clears throat> Thirdly is news, another form of live television. Interestingly enough, news and sports, two forms of live television come up as extremely strong. Sports, of course, you know, we think uh, it's the emotional, visceral aspect that makes it powerful. News is more the cognitive, you have to pay attention or, you know, why are you watching? You, you in fact, can't avoid paying attention. It breaks into your mind. News is gonna become a crucially important category especially now with the viewing levels going up. And the fourth category is kind of predictable. It's branded integration. You know, we've known as an industry how powerful it is to sow your, uh, your brand messaging, not necessarily hard sell advertising, but the appearance of the product, not only in the video kind of subtly, but in the audio and as a uh, you know, live cast presenter. Uh, these are very powerful forms of persuasion. And of course, they make the list. Those are the four types. Uh, the study itself will be coming out soon. I suggest you look at the full report. There's a lot more information in it. Our thanks to Bill Harvey as usual. As we've noted in the last few days, RBDR is transforming its reports into what we think is an even more focused, relevant, and hopefully valuable resources. And the viewership indicates that we seem to be on the right path. However, for us to fulfill our mission, we need your unique perspectives about research in this COVID-19 era. Please share your points of view and allow us to work with you to shape it for a presentation and appearance on RBDR. We're hoping to hear from any researcher out there, inside a client or an executive at any level employed by an agency, a supplier, or even an association. To get the ball rolling, all you need to do is email me at rflbob at gmail.com and we will take it from there. That's your Research Business Daily Report. It's been made possible by our community at the crowdfunding platform, patreon.com forward slash rbdr. With thousands of research executives having become RBDR viewers, the logic tells us that the average five-minute video length of one of our reports is certainly being perceived as time well spent. And demonstrating that further, these executives have forwarded select reports from RBDR, both internally and externally, which, if you think about it, really is one of the most unique reach-outs that you can make to either group. Try it yourself. From experience, we believe strongly that whomever you send a video to will profusely thank you. And with that in mind, we hope you will visit patreon.com forward slash RBDR and become a patron. Have a great research day and stay safe. And we'll see you back here with us tomorrow.